It's great to be here uh, as a former member of my Board of Selectmen in Swampscott. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute, but especially to have an opportunity to open up a new line of communication with all of you who in many respects deal with what I have always referred to as the front line of government here in the Commonwealth. And as Kevin pointed out about a year ago to this day, I stood in front of all of you and said that if we were, if Karen Polito and I were elected governor and lieutenant governor, we would in fact release the Chapter 90 money before I took off my jacket. And while I don't think we got it out before I took off my jacket, um, I certainly think we got it out shortly after that. And that was our way of saying that if we make a commitment on something like that, we plan to follow through and deliver on it. And I do want to thank you all for the tweets and the Facebook posts and the rest of the hoo-ha that followed that. And I look forward to seeing all of you uh, take advantage of that, that funding to do some great things in your communities with respect to infrastructure, roads, and, and all the rest. And of course, for me, that in some respects represents what I hope will be the first step of what will be a very healthy relationship going forward. Now that relationship obviously will be built on what I hope will be trust. We're never going to commit to things that we don't think we can deliver on. But at the same time, if we make commitments, we're going to do everything we can to make sure we follow through on them. And I hope in some ways this Chapter 90 piece is just one example of the kind of relationship and the kind of dialogue we're looking forward to having with the Commonwealth cities and towns. And this morning I actually signed the first executive order of our administration, and this order empowers the Lieutenant Governor to be a champion for municipal issues across state government, restructures the Department of Revenue to include a new senior commissioner for the Division of Local Services who reports directly to the commissioner, and creates a community compact cabinet that will work toward mutual accountability to reduce red tape, promote best practices, and develop specific community compacts with local government. These compacts will create clear mutual standards, expectations, and accountability for both the state and our cities and towns as we seek to create better government for our citizens. And it's my hope that this executive order and the early actions this administration can take with respect to cooperation with our cities and towns can produce real results for you and for the people in your communities. Karen will obviously have more to say about this during her remarks, but this is going to be a way in which we believe the door to our office, the door to our administration will be permanently open and available to all of you as you work through the issues that you'll be dealing with on the ground in all of your communities.